Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. It's a new television season, so there's a whole lot of new shows to watch. Uh, anyone who's known me for a while knows that uh, I have a habit of watching an awful lot of television. Um, there were some times back in the day where I'd be watching three hours a night live while recording another six hours uh, live. It makes it a little tricky to catch up sometimes. Uh, now that there's uh, Hulu and Netflix and all sorts of other ways of uh, time shifting stuff and putting stuff off till later, it's not quite that big of a deal. But it also helps that I've gotten a bit more picky about what I keep watching. Uh, but I still need to check out new shows when they come out. I just finished watching the first episode of the new Minority Report television series. I have some issues with it. It's, first of all, another sci-fi cop show. We already had a really good sci-fi cop show called Almost Human that got cancelled uh, last year. I would have rather seen that continue on than see this uh, reboot or this continuation of the Minority Report uh, story. And the main reason for that is it seems that they've, at least in the first episode, completely glossed over everything that happened in the movie, aside from the fact that there was a pre-crime division, and now there isn't. The whole point of the Minority Report in the title is that dissenting view, that thing that says that, no, you can't really judge these people as guilty uh, by these premonitions. Well, the whole plot of this show is one of the three precogs from the movie has decided to go into D.C., and that's another issue right there, and uh, help a cop stop crimes. That's exactly what shouldn't be happening. Now, they've spent... In, in, they didn't even mention what a minority report was until more than halfway through the run of the episode. And they spent more time before that reminiscing about how great it was to be able to catch all these criminals before they committed their crimes. It's the main reason the uh, lead cop got involved in the police force to begin with, to be part of the pre-crime division going out and busting people before they did anything wrong. I don't know, a little uncomfortable with that as the main premise. The uh, other uh, issue that they look like they're going to be dealing with is mass surveillance. They've already got mass surveillance going on. They've used they used it in this episode to track people down. It seems that the former head of the pre-crime division is pitching some bigger mass surveillance. It's like what they uh, what, what the whole premise behind person of interest is, the computer that will find the criminals and then you can pick them up. Pretty much pre-crime, except instead of being psychic-based, it's science-based. Uh, they better do a whole lot more. A whole lot more to really sell me on this show. Because the performances aren't selling me on this show. The setting isn't selling me on this show. It's set in D.C. in 2070. Now, I live right out of sight of D.C. I spend a lot of time in D.C. The D.C. they have projected for 2070 will never happen. It's got skyscrapers. Huge skyscrapers. There's reasons. There are no skyscrapers in D.C. But mostly, with the little bit that they put at the end of the... Uh, of the episode to 
show you that no, 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 we've got more of a plot that we're going to go with. Hints at some big event in the future that's coming down the pipe. Now, they already did that show. That, that was Dead Zone, which, uh, while they got the definition of Dead Zone wrong in the movie, or in the, uh, in the television series, was a really, really solid series dealing with the problems of being able to see the future and trying to change it and not always seeing stuff correctly in the future. In Minority Report, this new series, I'm not sure they're going to deal with it quite as well. I hope they do. I'll stick around for another couple of episodes, but um, if it doesn't improve greatly by episode three or four, I got better things to do with that uh, 45 minutes of my time. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm always interested to hear what other people think about these shows that I watch, whether I like them or not, whether I agree or not. Um, it's something I used to talk about a whole lot with a lot of people, but the uh, changing way that television and viewing shows uh, works has made that a little tricky. So, that's it for today. Uh, if you liked what you saw, hit the uh, like button down there. Uh, if you uh, want to uh, be notified anytime one of these goes up, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and then after you hit the subscribe button, hit the little gear that shows up so that you can set up email notifications. That way, YouTube will send you out a notification every time one of these goes up. Uh, and it'll come right into your inbox. Fantastic. You don't have to worry about uh, remembering to uh, check. Uh, and if there's anyone else uh, you think would be interested in uh, coming along on this trip with us, uh, feel free to share this video. So I'm Kier, and uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>